Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany Smith. I'm Christian Harloff. We are here with director Luke Bassad from his upcoming film Valerian and a City of a Thousand Planets. Luke, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Um, I wanted to ask you just a little bit to, to let people know what Valerian is all about if they didn't know already. It's a comic book from the late 60s, very famous in Europe, and I grew up with. I, I was a, a big fan at 10 years old. There's 29 albums, so I went through uh -huh. all of them. And I always, I was, you know, I'm a huge fan of it. And, and I became a, a director, and it was always in the back of my head hmm. here. <laughs> right, right there, right <laughs> in that specific that spot. spot. And one day I said, oh my God, it would be so good. I, at the beginning I said, I wish someone will do it. Right. And then little by little I start to think about it. The problem is 10% of, of, the, of the characters inside are human mm -hmm. and 90% are aliens. 90%? Creatures. Yeah, 90. Wow. Yeah. So it's almost, it was impossible to make the film until, uh, until Jim Cameron arrived. Right. And they raised all the levels. And yeah. then suddenly you say, oh my God, all right, now we can do it. And then I, I started seriously to think about it at, at the time. So this been, Avatar. And this has been on like the back burner for a very... Yeah, present? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some, well, yeah, someone... I, I've been asking somebody for this for a very long time, and I finally got my own iPad, so I appreciate that. So we're live streaming, so we're going to yeah. get some questions from fans and things as well Good. as we're chatting with you. But I got to ask, because we were chatting about this a little bit before we started, but obviously you're no stranger to doing films that are very Comic-Con friendly. But this is your first time here and doing a panel in Hall H, is that right? Yeah, first time. I always heard about all H. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's quite impressive, you know, like 6,000 people in the room and they they screaming all the time. It's like a rock concert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was impressed. The first role was just like Spider-Man, Batman, Spider-Man, Batman. Spider <laughs> <laughs> Who asked the best question out of those three? No, none of them. None of them. <laughs> <laughs> they spent too much time putting their costumes together. Actually, a couple of girls asked very question at the end. Well, you know, it's funny because you bring up Hall H and from being, you're, being your first time and obviously it's a passion project mm -hmm. of yours. Do the nerves go like they start because you've done so many movies, that, but this particular thing is kind of new to you. Were the nerves kind of high going into that? To be honest, the, the thing makes you very nervous yeah. if it's something technical happened. Yeah. And <laughs> it ruins the da -da 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 right, and then right. it stops. Yeah. Right. That's your biggest fear. Uh, for the rest, I, I'm in my editing room with my editor for months, and we say, oh, it's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> right. That's it. Yeah. So you reach the point where you want to share. You, mm -hmm. you want to go and say, right. all right, maybe uh, we don't know, but let's go. And, right. and I was very, and it's the kind of audience you want to share with sure. because they, you know, they love comic books and, and mm -hmm. sci-fi. And mm -hmm. so you know they will, they will be... Uh, just happy to see you and some footage and so. Well, right. I think just saying some of the stuff to share, just seeing some of the photos, the imagery, it looks so awesome. The wardrobe, everything is so detailed. Yeah, I, I started almost nine years ago, uh, picked up a couple of artists around the world from Brazil, US, China, Japan, everywhere. And I work with this guy, 12 of them, for almost three years. And they come up with the weirdest stuff. <laughs> like what? Like what? Oh, like, like you, you're going to throw up if I tell you. I Re describe some of them. Really? They come up, yeah. Wow. Okay. What? Okay. So, okay. But at least I have, sometimes it was too much. Uh -huh. But I have, so, I have like thousands and thousands of, I let them free. Mm -hmm. The only contact they have was with me through, okay. through the internet. So they really work by themselves in their country and have only contact with me. And, you know, and they didn't know each other. And we went yeah. like this for three years, and, and the material we come with was like just amazing. Wow. Okay, so were you, I wanted to ask you, because Dane DeHaan is one of my favorite actors working today. Um, had you had contact with him beforehand? What was the process for, as far as finding him, knowing this is the guy I, I need in this movie? Um, on this particular film, it, it's, it's pretty easy, because 29 albums, I know Valerian. Yeah. So I can come in a room and say, okay, he can play it. Mm -hmm. I, I know Valerian too much, and, and I, I love uh, Dane as an actor. I say, mm, it could be good. Right. I, I, I went to have a lunch with him, and after like 15 seconds, you knew that, it. that was it. It, yeah. it was him. He, say, he smiled, he said, hey, hi. 
and that's it. That was it. You knew it locked in. You didn't even need to have the meeting. Yeah, for 12 yeah. hours, I have to pretend. Oh, right. here's the script, you know, what you want to do, right. and all this. Yeah. But for me, I, I was just like praying they will say right. yes. Well, that's interesting you say that because you have such a clear vision already yeah. of knowing being a fan, and then once he sits yeah. down. And then do you, so do you see this, is this something because of your past, but do you see this being something that you want to continue on, like doing a, a lot of these? Sequels, uh, if, sequels. I can, if I can, yeah. really, honestly, yeah. 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 I, oh. I love the, the, the team so much, Lo Valerian and Laureline, yeah. you know, they're mm -hmm. so cool that uh, I, I can do like three, four, five if you want. <laughs> yeah. just, just tell me to stop and, you know. And I heard a little rumor that just looking at those costumes that you tried some on yourself, huh? Yeah, I can, I can barely put one. I mean, I'm too fat, too big. So. <laughs> I did. I, I did. always try. We, we have a lot of excited fans right now that are watching this live that would like to ask you some questions. And this one comes in from Dan, who says, what was your favorite memory working on the fifth element? Uh, the birth of Lilu. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. because that was the first time that she was on, on, on the big screen uh -huh. in a film like this. And the first scene we shoot with her was her birth. Right. And honestly, we shoot that all day long. And then we went to see the, the delis, you know, uh, the day after. And everybody was in shock because you can really feel that the character was born. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I, I remember that. It was very impressive. Well, when you bring that moment up from, like, the birth of seeing, of seeing Lulu and then when you tie it back into, like, Valerian, are there similarities as far as the yeah. way, maybe not necessarily in tone from the you way that you're shooting? Like the coloring and the well, yeah, world. Yeah, that and that feeling of bringing something alive to where you're like, okay, that's how I see it in my head and that's how it came out. That's exactly what I wanted Hall H to see. You know, Fifth Element is 20 years ago. Right. And that was weird. At the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I guess now. Weirdly I, awesome is what yeah. I mean. Yeah, but uh, some people were like, whoa, that's what too it, much. Right, you what's know, happening? That's too, but I think that the, the, the world now is weird enough to, right. to get <laughs> Valerian. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. I so mean, I, know I, I think it's, uh, and I'm, it's 20 years later, I have much more of yeah. experience and uh, I have much more joy, in fact, to, to make Valerian. Um, well, and I think just you said. Just to give you yes, a, just a quick, quick example, uh, Fifth Element, there's uh, 200 uh, shots of special effect. This one has 2,734. Oh wow. So we are not at all in the same. It's just area. a different time and different. Yeah. Time. Right. Um, Emily asks, who is your favorite superhero and why? Good question, Emily. Yeah, that is <laughs> so much. Yeah. Know. Probably Batman. Batman? Yeah. Is there something that you would like to do in that genre? Because, you know, we are a Comic-Con. Is, mm -hmm. is there ever a, a superhero movie, maybe whether it be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or if it's the DC Universe, is there anything that you would want to do, like a character you'd want to take Nolan on? Chris did two Batmans. Yeah. I will never go after him. Right, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. right, what about Robin? What about no, Nightwing? That hasn't been done. He Nightwing. Try. He, he did such a great job, so... No, I think uh, it's funny because uh, I didn't grow up with... Marvel's comic book. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I, I grew up with uh, with uh, European comic books, yeah. which is Valerian and Tintin. Yep. And Spiru and you know Asterix is mm -hmm. a, a little small you know French. I used to read right. Asterix. Yeah. So yeah. I, I grew up, and the the way of telling stories is not exactly the same. So you know, I, I my flavor is more around that, mm -hmm. and right. I became more fans of of the the superhero that you have when I was older, you know, like 18, 20, yeah. you know, I, I'm, at the time there's one that I love was Mandrake. Okay. Oh yeah. The magician. Uh huh. Yeah, I love this one. Well, I think it's so cool because of the fact that, you know, these are comic books that you grew up reading and there's such a massive space that you can bring those comics in and introduce them to a new audience and people are going to get just as excited as you yeah. were. Yeah, I hope so. Well, <laughs> Travis asked a question that I'm going to buy him a drink for asking because <laughs> I love this question, and I hope the answer is yes, and I hope the answer is next year. Um, have you ever thought of making a prequel to The Professional, one of my favorite all-time films of all, of all time, by the way? Uh, I think about it. That, that's all we got? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> that's it? I don't know. That, Believe I mean, me, it's better than no. Yeah, it's better yeah. than no. It's better yeah. than no. Okay. I, mean, I can't say yes. That movie, man. I think about it. Oh, man. Oh, that, thank you for making that movie, by the way. It was, he that's, says that's, it with a smile, too. I know. Of course he's something. Because you think about it from Valerian now, how much he's been thinking yeah. about it. I want to know, if, that's, if Valerian's back here, where is the prequel professional? <laughs> uh, we're 
on the <laughs> oh, even See, that's closer. Even closer I to the front of the that. brain. I oh, love that. I love it. All right, so let, cool. Tiffany, let's get to it. Okay, so we like to play a little game called My First Time Here with Fandango. So we've got some questions for you. Whoa. And you could, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not, not like that. I mean, it could, it could go be. like that no, depending no, no. on how you answer. We've had a few drinks. Let's, let's just test them out. These are easy ones. So what was your first time seeing a movie? Uh, in Paris, Jungle Book. Oh, nice. wow. The and I came back home and cried for three days. I want to leave my family and be erased by a panther and, and, <laughs> and, a, and a bear. Wow. Well, now it's like I've got to ask, <laughs> how did you feel seeing the Jungle Book, the live action one? That yeah, it's five rows. It, it's, it's very well done, but uh, in my heart, you can't beat the... Animation. Right, yeah, right. It, okay. It's impossible. All right, your first time meeting the lead actors. We've talked about Dane, obviously. It was, it was at a meeting for... In a restaurant near the, near uh, near his apartment. Okay. In fact, he didn't know why I want to meet him. Oh, yeah. really? I just heard, you know, like Luke wants to meet him, meet you, and he said, oh, "Okay." Yeah. And I came, and I have the entire valley like, and everything on my. <laughs> right, right, right. I was just like, yeah. not knowing what I want. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. And which is good because he he was just natural. Yeah. He didn't know what to expect. So. Yeah. You didn't need him to be prepared for that one. You yeah. just wanted to get the, the vibe yeah, of who essence. he was and his essence, right? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um, what about working with Kara? Oh, I, I love to work with Kara. Yeah. She's crazy. <laughs> What's your next one? But she's so, I mean, she's so energetic. And, and the, 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 the strength that she put in the film, believe me, she was working out every day. Right. She was coming earlier on set. She was like a puppy. Right. Yeah. Who wants to shoot? <laughs> and that, was that a restaurant type scenario too? The first time you met yeah, her? In yeah. In LA. Okay. She came on time. Okay. Very simple, no makeup. Very like, <laughs> like this. She was really like a, a, a little girl. Like, she was very, uh, she was very cool. Okay. I love it. All right. So our next one. First time reading a comic book. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Uh, probably Asterix. Oh wow. First. Yeah. That's yeah. the one that sticks out the most. Okay. I was like probably five or six. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Or um, Tintin. Okay, how about your first time directing a film? Uh, 17. 17 years yeah, old. My first wow. short film at 17, my first long feature film at yeah. 19. What, I'm just curious about that. Like, what, do you remember the first time that you thought, this is what I am born to do? Uh, born to do, I don't know, but what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but you're obviously born to do it. You've been doing so, I mean. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I remember exactly. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I went on a, I went on the on the set of a short film, just wondering, yeah, maybe it's cool. And then I came on the set, and I literally fall in love. That was it. Yeah. Fall in love. Yeah. Went back home, say to my mom, I'm gonna make films. She said, Yeah, good. Finish your school. I said, No, I <laughs> don't understand. I'm not going to school tomorrow. I'm leaving the house and I'm going to Paris and I'm gonna make film. So I I leave my family and the house 24 hours after. No. -uh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> And that was don't, it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Well, well or it could turn it. out like you have, and it could you be. You never a know. Success. You never, Well, ja Jackie, who's watching right now, asks, which directors, uh, which directors inspire you the most? Inspired, I hope no one, because no, no one. Okay. Yeah, no one, because uh, we all so different. Mm -hmm. But there's some some guy that I admire, you know, and I admire their freedom. Like Cameron, who you mentioned before, obviously, yeah, too. For right. sure. A couple of Americans, Spielberg for sure, okay. Lucas for sure. But uh, I will say Coppola, right. Scorsese, Kurosawa, mm -hmm. uh, Kubrick. Right. You know, that's, that's for me the, the main guys. You can't Luke. be wrong by watching their films. No, you <laughs> cannot. Um, Luke, I wanted to thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Make sure you guys check out Valerian when it hits theaters. Thank you, and I'm, I hope that you enjoyed your first Hall H experience. Well, I mean, we, uh, we have a standing ovation. That's so great. So I was like, whoa. So that, that was the paradise today. That was it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us in the Fandango space. Before you thank go, you. though, we've got a little treat for there you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad I no promise. no no I promise. no but yeah, yeah please no please please and you guys thank you so much for hanging out with us here on fandango make sure you tune in all week long because we've yep. got awesome exclusives coming to you straight from san diego comic-con and everywhere you can find fandango make sure you hit all your social media spots we are doing the whole entire con look at the great guests that we're getting here today make sure you keep doing that thanks guys for watching let's end it with a standing ovation so yeah. yeah 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 <laughs>